What a better day to celebrate Christmas than the hottest day in July. I swear I'm not even wearing pants right now. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen, Christmas in July on the Dungeon Masters Guild. Now, I went to the Dungeon Masters Guild today like I do almost every day uh, to browse it and to check out some new titles when I saw this banner. And instead of clicking on this banner, I clicked the record button. I haven't clicked on this banner, but they say there's big discounts on tons of titles on the Dungeon Masters Guild. So what I want to do is click this banner and see if there's any titles in there that I know and that I just want you to check out for yourself if you don't have them uh, yet see if I maybe have a review on them or just stuff that I know and love from the Dungeon Masters Guild if you like what I do right here on the channel make sure to hit the thumbs up put in the comments if you like this format what I'm doing right now just say hi in the comments uh, thumbs up subscribe blah 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 let's just click the banner and see if there's anything uh, there that uh, that catches my eye and I want to want you to uh, to see so um, I don't know if this is going to end up on YouTube eventually because I don't know if this is going to be content that's actually usable. Usable. So let's just see. Christmas in July. Christmas is coming. The Goose's Fat Dungeon Masters Guild is where the discounts are at. Okay. Um, Christmas in July. There's this entire. Oh wow. Uh, yeah. So there's a lot of stuff here from publishers, Dungeon Masters Guild, Wizards of the Coast. Oh, you cannot see this. Well, there is this pop-up thing that says Wizards of the Coast or Dungeon Masters Guild. Um, hottest Christmas in July sale. All right, cool, nice. Um, I don't know why I'm doing this, but let's do it. Uh, hottest sale. So let's do, let's do like the top thirty or top hundred or whatever. Um, the first thing I'm seeing is of course the Monster Manual Expanded Number Three by Dragonix. I've talked about this on my channel a heck of a lot. This is the third installment of the Monster Manual Expanded, and all of these are really good. What they do is they take monsters from the monster book from the Monster Manual, uh, the fifth edition Monster Manual by Wizards of the Coast, and they just create different versions of them, like more interesting versions with their own uh, artwork by the way the first one and I think the second one already already gotten like a complete revamp with new artwork uh, so they are really great there's just a few monster books out there that I recommend to anybody and the Monster Manual Expanded series is really good. I have the physical copies, all of them. I really like it. Another thing I'm seeing is an Alpha and an Orc had a little baby. And I'm not only seeing this one, I'm also seeing the second one. You n probably know that I absolutely love this. And my community also absolutely loves, loves this. Because a lot of people bought it after clicking my... Um, Affiliate link to the Dungeon Masters Guild, which I'm really grateful of. Basically, you pick a parent and another parent uh, from the same race or people or two different races or people and you kind of there's this point system where you can take abilities and features from different races or people and you get like this this new person which is your playable character so instead of like picking a race you actually pick the way you were uh maybe brought to life or maybe raised so if you for example take uh, uh an orc on one hand and you take a gear forge or war forge or whatever on the other hand they might not be able to like mate so you might have like the physical attributes of an orc but you have a lot of the uh the the the, the skill set of the gear forge because they also raised you uh for 50 percent so it's really cool um I think it's a really original way of creating characters and by the way my go-to way of creating characters right now for myself. Wow, another Monster Manual Expanded. Uh, this is the first one. This is what I'm talking about. I'm just going to open this um, in a new... Does this work? Yes. This is what I'm talking about. So the first one, uh, the main issue I had with the Monster Manual Expanded in the past was that I didn't really like the cover artwork. Let's just say that changed. This is absolutely amazing. Dragonix is so did, did such a good job of like reinvesting in his books and just creating new artwork for them and just making new versions of that. I really appreciate that he's doing that. So the Monster Manual Expanded number one is really cool. I still have the old version, like the original version, which is also cool to have. Um, but yeah, I have one, two, and three in physical and uh, PDF, of course. The Call from the Deep, JVC Perry, my man, is on here. $29 instead of $39. Um, that's one heck of a deal. I mean, Call from the Deep is... 
um, quote unquote, just a PDF. By the way, if you see me falling from my chair, it's because it's freaking hot. It's 40 degrees Celsius out here in Belgium where I live. Uh, that's like 104 Fahrenheit or something. Um, so Call from the Deep is only a PDF, quote unquote, but it is so big. It's like an entire campaign written by one of the best writers out there. Uh, yeah, absolutely love that. Um, <laughs> Monster Manual Expanded number 02. Dragonix, you're doing good for yourself. 14 bucks, 15 bucks instead of 20 bucks. I like, I like. Uh, congratulations on that. Um, uh, let's see if there's another thing. Oh, the Feywild Companion. I know this one. Feywild Companion is... Um, it is, I reviewed this. It is for those people who like the Feywild or playing in and around the Feywild or running games in and around the Feywild. I need a drink. This companion has it all. Like it has magic items, uh, player options. Um, I think there's even monsters in there. There's spells in there. It's really, really good, complete companion for people who like playing in the uh, Feywild. Um, where are we? Oh. There we are. Let's see if there's more. Let's see if there's more. We're already at 29, so that's the top 30. And Faye Wild Companion made the top 30. Just barely, but they made it. Uh, let's see if there's anything. I uh, There's so much I cover on this channel, and there's still so much that I don't know some things I'm seeing for the first time, and some, th some things I've already seen, but just haven't had a chance to review already. Or, um, oh, One Night Strut. One Night Strut. I love One Night Strut. Oh. Oh, now I did a thing. I clicked it. Uh, One Night Strahd is... It is something really specific. It is for people who want to run Curse of Strahd. But they want it to be more linear. Or even play it in like one, two or three sessions. That's what One Night Strahd basically is. It is a system that you uh, use to play Curse of Strahd in a more linear way. Um, you just check my review, type it in, uh, One Night Strahd, and then my Mr. Trask, and you'll find review. It's really hard to explain, but it's really, really well done. Uh, original way of playing it. Uh, let's see. Oh, here he is. Justin Hanlon from Crit Academy, Weapon Perks. I reviewed this, I think. I talked about it. Uh, so if you want to make your weapons and your combats, your weapons specifically, more interesting, um, this is the book for you. It has all kinds of, like, these weapon perks, and if you know Crit Academy and you know Justin Hanlon, he's a crazy dude who has crazy good ideas. He's awesome, by the way, he's going to help us out with our new Kickstarter, so make sure to click that link in the description below. Um, yeah. It's a great book by a great guy. Uh, it's cool to see him in there, man. It's just... Uh... Oh, one of my favorites. One of my favorite campaign settings. Like, ever. I need to I need to show you this one. Um, wow, Russianman. Russianman. I even sent an email to the creator asking how to pronounce it. And he sent me a voice clip back saying Russianman. So that's how I'm saying it. Russianman. It is a campaign setting, it's so good. It's called the Unapproachable East, which is the east part of Forgotten Realms where nobody ever goes. This is that part. It is a entire world. It is run by like witches, right? And they keep everything uh, together and they are the they are like the 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 people that that keep the other people together. And it's really original campaign setting with some crazy good artwork if you ever want to play a witch this is the book for you because it has a subclass a witch ask subclass for every class in D, D 5e and it has an entire witch class so you can play an entire witch kind of class or you can play like a fighter as a witch or a wizard that is a witch or a freaking barbarian that is a witch which is really really cool um russian really deserves this spot let's just scroll a bit more further see if there's oh oh i need to talk about this there's something that needs to be said about this a long time ago on a channel called mr Jarosk, i did a review of this 
for some reason, this is one of my, if not my best performing video of all time. If I watch it now, it's super grin gringy, is that a word? Yes, uh, it's like super bad and an awkward video, but this thing keeps selling through my affiliate link. I'm not getting rich of it or, or anything, but I've sold hundreds of PDFs of captains and cans through that one stupid video. So first of all, creators, thank you for sending it. You guys, thank you for buying it. It is a really good, simple to comprehend rule set for uh, a guide to ship combat in Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition. Really simple to understand, really simple to run, absolutely worth it. I just needed to say that. It's very good to see that. Like, that's right now still in the hottest Christmas in July sale, right? So it's still in there. It's still performing. That's just crazy. It is, it is an old... It is, some, some of these are just old. Uh, oh, Artifact of the Guild. Um, I have an item in here. I do. I have a magic item in here. Um... So yeah, if you buy this through my affiliate link, yeah, that would be great. Um, again, I'm not getting rich off of that stuff or, or anything. It's just like a little extra. Oh, Shore of Dreams is near. Okay, this is the last one I'm covering. Shore of Dreams is on place 104, so it's not even in top 100. But still, I'm going to I'm going to talk about it because this thing is the best one shot that ever, has ever been written, to my opinion. It is by Florian Emmerich and JVC Perry. It is short. It is full of atmosphere. It has the perfect plot twist, the perfect world building, and you should buy it. Since only 2% of my viewers watch my videos until the very end, there's nothing for me to say more than, hey, thanks for sticking around and watching my video to the very end. And until next video, Bye-bye.